Yo ho ho mateys, welcome to our channel, and yes, I have my bottle of rum standing by here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome pirate ship cake topper inspired by the black pearl from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. If you want to make this for your cake, you could also change the color to brown for a more generic pirate ship. It's a large ship, so it will be the star of any pirate themed cake. Everything you need is in the description box, so let's go ahead and get started. To start our ship, we're going to need five of these little bars of Rice Krispie Treats. You can pick these up in just about any grocery store. Don't get ones with nuts or any type of candy in them. You just want to use the originals. We'll start with four, and what we're going to do is stack them together. like this for the base of our ship. And now we're going to cut one end of it in the shape of the front of our ship. We'll just use a sharp serrated knife to trim it up. Just carve until you're happy with the front end of the ship. It should look something like this. Each bar is about two and a half inches long. I'm going to cut my fifth one down to two inches. This is going to be the upper deck of the Black Pearl. Now we're ready to start covering our ship with some fondant. I've rolled out just some plain white fondant and I've got a little water here and I'm going to spread some onto my fondant. This will act as glue to glue it onto our ship. Then I'm going to take our ship and lie it onto our fondant. Then I'm going to take a pizza cutter and I'm just going to go around the ship, cutting the fondant to match the shape of our ship. Now I can flip it over here and use a little knife or some scissors to trim up the edges as necessary. Next, I'm going to take the back of a knife, but if you have a fondant sculpting tool, you can use that too. And I'm going to put some lines in. I'm going to start at the point of the ship and go all the way down the middle to the back and then put in a few more lines parallel to that. Then I'm just going to take my knife and I'm going to go around and put a bunch of little marks randomly around just to give it more of a wood grain effect. And that's how we can cover the main deck of our ship in fondant. Now we want to cover the upper deck of the black pearl and fondant. I just rolled out some white fondant, much longer than the actual Rice Krispie Treat and wider. I want to cover the top and one edge with the fondant. So again, I'm going to put some water on it. Set my Rice Krispie Treat on there. And again, I'm going to use my pizza cutter and I'm going to cut around three sides of my Rice Krispie Treat. And then I'm just going to take this edge and fold it up here. And then I'll use a pair of scissors to cut it even with the edge of our Rice Krispie Treat. Just like we did with the main deck of the Black Pearl, I want to put some lines down my fondant to look like planks. Once you have your plank lines laid out, again, just go around and put a bunch of small random lines in again to give it that wood grain effect. Now that we have our decks covered in fondant, I'm going to let this set for maybe 30 minutes just to make sure that our fondant has adhered to our Rice Krispie Treat. Then we'll do some painting. To paint our fondant, I mix some black gel food color with some vodka and I wanted it to come out more of a charcoal color. If you look at the black pearl pictures, it's really not a pure black. It's more of a dark charcoal color. And now I'm just going to paint my fondant with my vodka and food color mixture. Now we're going to let these dry for at least a couple of hours, and then we'll do some more fondant work. I rolled out some fondant 
and I cut out about a one inch by six inch strip and I've put the rest that I had aside here and next I'm going to give this the wood grain effect so I'm going to take the back of my knife and put a line about down the middle of my strip and give it some additional random lines throughout and on the back of my strip put some water and I'm going to attach it here at the top of my ship and I'm going to put it on so there's about a quarter inch above the top of my deck here. Once I have that on I'm going to use this other piece that I have left and I'm going to put it right up against this piece and then cut it even with the bottom to complete the side. I'll also give it the plank and wood grain effect like I've been doing on all the fondant. Now we have one side of our ship covered in fondant. I'm going to do the exact same process on the other side. I now have the main part of the ship covered in fondant. I just cut out a square to cover the back here. So we're going to set that aside and let our fondant adhere. And now we're ready to cover our upper deck. We've got three sides left and then we'll be ready to paint our ship. Now we want to cover the remaining three sides of our upper deck. I have a piece of fondant with a straight edge at the top and then plenty of depth. And what I want to do is put this on at an angle. I want the back to be taller and have it slope down towards the front. I'm going to go ahead and put it on and show you what it looks like. It'll make a lot more sense. I've got my upper deck covered here. Hopefully you can see that it just is higher in the back and then slopes down to the front. I've got to trim off this little bit of extra fondant even with the edge of my upper deck. But I want to make sure it's adhered first before I trim it. Then we'll be ready to put our ship together and do some painting. I'm ready to attach my upper deck and to do that I'm just going to use some water and then we'll let this adhere for a few minutes while I whip up some paint. I mixed a couple drops of black food color with some vodka and now we're ready to paint. I'm going to use this chip brush. I used it before in our stump cake and I'm going to use it to paint the bulk of our ship. I'll use artist brushes to get into the spots I can't get with the chip brush. The ship is painted. Now I need to paint three wooden skewers. These are going to serve as the masts for our sails. So I'm going to use the same paint I just painted the ship with and we'll paint these and once you get them painted we'll just stick them into some foam and let them dry upright. To give the front of our ship a little character and to cover the seam that I have here I cut a quarter inch strip of black fondant and what I'm going to do is roll one end up a bit and then with some water I'm going to attach it right up here and cover up that seam. Before I start adding some detail to the ship, I wanted to hide the little seam that exists between this upper deck and the lower part of the ship. I actually have a little fondant mold here and it has this really nice strip. It has some little tooth-like detail in it. And so I use some black fondant and this fondant mold and then just wrapped it around where the seam is. So it gives it, you know, a little more detail than just a plain quarter inch strip of fondant, but you can do that. To make the black pearl sails, I'm going to start with just a piece of inexpensive printer paper. And we're actually going to color it. You could just use black paper, but I like the looks of this a bit better. It looks aged and weathered a little bit. In a little bowl here I have some strong coffee and over here I have a little bit of black food color and I'm going to dip my brush here in the coffee and then into the black food color 
and I'm going to actually paint it on to the paper and I'm going to cover both sides. Once you have your paper covered, pop it in a preheated 200 degree oven for probably six to eight minutes. Once the paper dried completely, I cut out our sails. I cut two larger sails. This is three and a half by two and a quarter. And then I cut out four smaller sails, which are two and a quarter by one and a half. And we're going to put them on the three wooden skewers that we painted black. I completed my sails. I actually glued them on to the wooden skewer and I have glued them on so they bellow out just a little bit so it looks like they're catching some wind. Now I'm going to go ahead and add more detail to the ship. You can add whatever details you want but I'm going to show you a few of the things that I did. To give our ship some metallic details I used Wilton Color Mist. I used the silver and the gold. You can use luster dust mixed with a little vodka. It really would have given it a more shiny look, but I didn't have any. And the nice thing about these, you can actually pick this up at Walmart. So it's really convenient and it's a lot cheaper than luster dust. I usually try to keep a can of each in my cabinet. Here is our completed Black Pearl Pirate Ship. I've got all the details on. In the back, I added this on light and I sprayed it with the gold color mist. I actually used a fondant mold for that. Then I made an anchor. I just used a snake of black fondant to form the anchor and then sprayed it with the silver color mist. I really didn't film that. On the sides, we've got these cannons. To make cannons for the ship, you just want to roll out balls of black fondant equal in size and then take a fondant ball tool, or if you don't have one, use the end of an artist brush. And all you're going to do is punch it down into the ball and make the barrel, if you will. And that's all there is to making the cannons for our ship. Once they dried, I sprayed them with the gold color mist to give them this kind of a bronze look and I attached them to the ship with some fondant glue. We have a video on how to make fondant glue. I'll put a link to that in the description. Then I added three windows on each side of the ship. To make the windows, I cut out small arches using white fondant, and then I painted them using a mixture of Americolor gold and some vodka. I thought the gold made it look a little more like candlelight coming through the windows. Then I rolled a thin snake of black fondant and I just wrapped it around the top of the window and then just used a knife to cut it even with the bottom of the window. That's all there is to making our windows. I also added this really nice railing. It's really easy to do. To make the railing, start with five small balls of black fondant and attach them with some water equally spaced along the top edge of our lower deck. Once you're sure that the balls of fondant are firmly attached to the ship, roll out a really thin snake of your black fondant and then you'll just attach it to the top of the balls you can flatten out the tops of them a little bit if you need to, to get your snake to adhere, and then cut off any excess. And here on the upper deck, I just added two kind of bronze looking handles. Again, I just cut a little circle of black fondant, put a little ball of fondant on top, and then spray painted it with the gold color mist. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Of course, it's not complete until we add our sails. Here is our completed Black Pearl Pirate Ship. I went ahead and put the sails on. They're really easy. Just push the wooden skewer down into the Rice Krispie Treats underneath the fondant to hold them on. I think it turned out really great. It'll be a wonderful centerpiece for any pirate cake. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please join our channel. 
Be sure to hit the notification button so you don't miss out on the upcoming Pirate Cake featuring the ship we just made. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you back soon.